we are here now um, with the with the doctor in the armory, and the space has has been given the simplest furniture, which rotates sometimes in the first half almost continually, but in the almost imperceptibly. It's so slow that it takes most audience members uh, quite a while to understand what's going on. And it's disorientating, deliberately. It has to be very cold and clinical at times. It is the, the location of, of this is basically a, like a private clinic, private hospital. So it's, we've, we've ended up with no detail other than what you absolutely need, which is in fact one prop the kettle. It, nothing gets in the way, there's nothing distracting. And the uniforms are uniforms because they're doctor coats. It's also helping. We basically can concentrate on the words. That was very much my aim, that, that I just wanted to not distract. There are 11 lighting fixtures which were made to, to kind of resemble the cold neon light, but at the same time they've been purposely made to allow Natasha Jeffers, who's lighting this show, to get the light in a slightly more complex way than a normal neon light would give. With these cold, and sometimes they pulsate these lights. And our eye is often taken up to the drum kit. It's a thrilling and a very important part of it because it hangs above the space. It's a heavy, it's a heavy sound. and a kind of very strange to have it above the action and it's you know it's quite a kit up there but it appears to be floating in in darkness because there's no waiting for anything they just they're propelled by the music but by, by the drumming by the by the soundscape Tom Gibbons' soundscape and our wonderful drummer I think really are very essential to to the whole rhythm of the piece I think the the action can move at any pace without having to stop at all. I mean, in fact, the choreography and the pace is as integral to the storytelling as the words are, in a way, that the whole production is, is tightly woven for us to really hear every word, because we have to take note, as it's such a complex way of discussing this subject matter. And it was helped also by this auditorium being curved which was Rob's idea. He wanted to enclose it. And then when I went away and redesigned it for the space, you know, I, it, it was a great collaborative effort between the Armoury uh, people and, and us in London. In this case, the audience is completing the curve, this special uh, auditorium built of the seating has been sort of designed to fit with this curved set. It, it completes a circle almost. And so this, this, is, this softness of the circle is also like an arena. And a lot of discussion was had how to do that. And I think it's been very successfully achieved.